What's good, YouTube? Good morning. Wanted to make this video uh, in response to Killer Mike's, I'm going to call it his walk it back video. Not going to be too long. Just want to say a few things. I find it hard to believe that a black man, an educated black man like Killer Mike, didn't realize before he sat down for an interview with the NRA, the National Rifle Association, what he was doing. I don't buy that shit. And in today's society, we're very quick to give someone a free pass, okay? Now, Killer Mike made the Walk It Back video as an apology for having sat down with the NRA and allowed his words to be twisted. It's basically what he said in his uh, video. His words is that he was speaking on black gun ownership in America and why it's important for the black community to protect itself. Well, I could understand uh, Killer Mike's point about that. I don't buy what he's trying to sell and neither should you. Again, about him not realizing what he was doing when he sat down with the NRA. Now, I want to say something real quick, because I know there's always going to be people, right, that try to misconstrue my words and twist what I'm saying, right? Um, I'm all for the Second Amendment. As a proud American, I am as much for the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, as I am for the First Amendment, which all of you know how passionate I am about that, right? Free speech and what is in essence an extension of the First Amendment protected under the First Amendment, the right to record, which I'm always encouraging um, all of you um, to exercise your First Amendment constitutionally protected right to record. But here's the thing. If Killer Mike's true goal, true objective was to speak about black gun ownership in America and the importance of the black community to protect itself, right? Um, he has a huge platform. He's a respected artist. Uh, he's been in the game for many years. And again, he is a very smart, articulate man. For him to now try to say and spin and walk back and, in essence, damage control, right? To try to dupe all of you into believing that he had no idea that his words would be twisted, that his message would be used uh, for the NRA's agenda, who, by the way, the NRA could give two shits about black lives being lost every day in cities like Chicago, okay? The NRA could give two shits about Latinos, about any minorities losing their lives and loved ones losing loved ones to gun violence, okay? To the problem that we have in this country where it is simply too easy for certain disturbed individuals to possess a firearm both legally 
as we saw in the case in Parkland, Florida, where the individual whose name I'm not going to say, I'm not going to give him um, any type of shine on here, uh, but who he, as we all know, purchased uh, firearms legally, right? And illegally, we also have a problem in this country where anyone could get their hands on a firearm. So for Killer Mike to be trying to dupe all of you into believing that he, again, a smart black man, the same smart, educated, and articulate black man who sat for an interview in Harlem with none other than Bernie Sanders, for him to be trying to dupe all of you into somehow believing that he had no idea what he was doing when he sat with the NRA for an interview. When he sat with a racist organization who gives two shits about gun violence, taking innocent lives every day in this country is bullshit. And he should be held accountable for his words and for his actions. Also, interestingly, is the fact that if you go to Killer Mike's YouTube channel, all his videos allow comments, except his walk it back video. Comments have been disabled on that video and that video alone. So again, especially with artists, and I know I have a lot of younger folks that, you know, younger audience that watch my, um, my channel, right? We're too quick nowadays to let just anyone dupe us and anyone pull the wool over our eyes and then try to avoid uh, responsibility and accountability for their actions. Don't buy it. Question everything. Killer Mike knew exactly what he was doing when he sat down with the NRA. You can't sit down with a racist organization and then make a little three and a half minute walk it back video and disable comments and expect people to buy that shit. Peace.